If you are a sucker for authentic Japanese food and want to get the most from your money in London, then look no further. From self barbecuing to a bit of chef showmanship, here are your must visit Japanese restaurants in London. First up on our list is Sen Nin, located in both Islington and Camden. Sen Nin is a Japanese teppanyaki, meaning guests sit around a large hot plate while the chef cooks right in front of you. It describes itself as the theatre of Japanese cuisine and provides some front row entertainment while also ensuring your food is as fresh as it possibly can be. Guests are often encouraged to participate with the old catching a piece of flying egg in your mouth being a prime example. Also the old hide the egg in the chef's hat game. All classic stuff. The food itself is enjoyable. We tucked into some tom yum and miso soup, duck goiza, crazy roll sushi, and believe me, it was pretty crazy, king prawn tempura, and prime steak cooked with mushrooms in black pepper sauce. Depending on what you order, the food is priced reasonable to expensive, but if you have a taste card, you can enjoy 50% off all food, which is highly recommended. All in all, Sen Nin offers some light entertainment along with some authentic Japanese cooking. For this next entry, I admit that we are slightly cheating here. Technically, Inamo is classified as Asian fusion. However, I couldn't do a list such as this without including the awesomeness that is Inamo, which should become apparent as we continue. Inamo has locations in Soho, Covent Garden, and Camden, which is where we are here. It almost goes without saying that the food here is great, which we will get onto shortly, but the real clincher here for Anamo is your interactive table. Want to show your caring side? Bring out the pink flowers. Want to show how artistic you are? Just select the drawing mode and colour away to your heart's content. Want to disguise the fact you've spilled soy sauce all over the place? There's a table pattern for that too. Beyond that, you can watch the chef cam to keep an eye on your dishes preparation. You can see a couple of previews of what those chicken wings will actually look like on your plate. You can even play a round of Pong. With all these distractions, whether it's a meal for two or a group of you, Inamo already stands out from the crowd. All this, and yes, of course, the food is top notch also. Firstly, you sift through the menu via a tablet on your table, which is kind of cool as personally I enjoy being able to see pictures of what I'm about to eat. Then it all comes out as it's ready off the stove. On this particular outing, we had some crunchy tempura prawn maki, Japanese tacos, my personal favorite whenever I come here, which is clay pot green chicken curry, beef tataki, and chicken karage. All of the food is tasty, succulent, well presented, and a great mix of flavors on your table and great for sharing too. Everything you saw here was around 60 pounds in total without alcohol. So if this is too much, I'd recommend joining their mailing list as they occasionally send some great offers via email. Next up is Eat Tokyo, which is a Japanese owned firm with eight branches operating in Tokyo and six from London. What makes Eat Tokyo stand out is its massive menu, authentic dishes, and probably the best value for money option on this list. As mentioned, the menu offers a wide variety of choice, complete with large boats full to the brim of sushi. For smaller groups, you can really mix and match with smaller plates to cleanse the palate. On this occasion, we started with tuna tataki with ponzu, a tempura sushi roll, sweet potato croquette, vegetable and shrimp tempura, katsu don, and to be honest, I can't remember what this was called, but I can assure you it was lovely. Everything you've seen on this table came in at only 50 pounds, and that's with drinks and service charge added. And probably, if we were being honest, with way too much food for just two people, but our eyes got the better of us. So if you are looking for high quality Japanese cooking at a great price, make sure you pre-book at Eat Tokyo, as there's often a line to enter. And finally, Kin Tam, which is a modern, authentic Japanese yakiniku experience, which literally means grilled meat. It's a Japanese take on the Korean barbecue and one of the most popular dining styles in Japan with each table containing its own barbecue grill. This allows you to cook the meat yourself, so grill to mouth is rarely beyond five seconds, creating some of the most bespoke, freshest tasting flavors you can find. 
Situated near Chancery Lane Tube Station, you're immediately welcome with some Japanese decor and the sounds of sizzling beef. Being Japanese, Yakuniku restaurants employ a little engineering genius to provide smokeless table grills so that your clothes will thank you later. The menu offers a wide variety of bite-sized cuts of meat, mainly beef and pork, some marinated, and some designed to complement the amazing homemade table sauces. As your waiter fires up the grill in preparation for the main courses, the starters arrive. We enjoyed a spicy salmon tartar volcano, some octopus dumplings known as takoyaki, and chicken karage, or fried chicken. With the grill now red hot, we tucked into cuts of beef kalbi short rib, garlic butter beef kalbi, and miso marinated beef kalbi. For the sides, garlic spinach and butter corn, both foil wrapped for some steamy goodness. Drinks followed suit with the authenticity with sake, plum wine, and Japanese beers to boot. The cost is reasonable for the quality that you receive, but their happy hours make them even more amazing value. Kintan is an amazing experience with something a little different, bursting with flavour. If you would like to sample an authentic Japanese food experience in London, you can't go wrong with Kintan. If you have enjoyed this list, please subscribe to us at Suitcase Monkey. We will be uploading lots of things to do in London in future, with a special look at Kew Gardens already available. We are heading to Japan itself shortly, so keep an eye out for a full video on that, and please click the notification bell so you're alerted as soon as we post. Thanks for watching.